Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this, and this is Talent, you know from the Sony video, and he had the genius idea that we should rattle off our ten favourite games of all time. So we've been sitting around for half an hour trying to figure them out, <laughs> and here we go. I think Tanner can start, well we, we haven't told each other what they are, and we're going to start at ten. Surprise list. Surprise list and work our way down. So Tanner can go first, and we'll give, give you a little insight as to why we pick what we picked. Um, but a lot of good games got cut off the list, such as Hitman Brink. Blood Money. Brink. <laughs> I've... Okay, I've got a surprise coming at number one, don't worry. Yeah. So you can go first with number ten, Tanner. Uh, my number way. ten, I had Crash Bandicoot. And because if you were playing Crash Bandicoot when you were five, <laughs> you might as well have killed yourself. Crash <laughs> Bandicoot was one of the greatest PlayStation 1 games and greatest games of all time. But see, us good children, we had a Nintendo, so we never played I didn't play Crash Bandicoot. Well, I played it sometimes, I didn't like Crash Bandicoot. Well, fuck your Nintendo. Shut up. My number ten, obviously, one of the, the greatest multiplayer games of all time, mm -hmm. I said it. Call of Duty 4, and everyone's like, oh, you're going to have a Call of Duty game as number 1, 2, and 3, and maybe I do, and I'm just starting off now. That's because great. Four, you can't... Call of Duty World Call of, better. Yeah, for us. But for if, us. You look, if you had green connection all the time <laughs> on COD 4, would it be the best Call of Duty? Yeah. Yes. So Call of Duty 4, best Call of Duty game, number 10 of all time, for me, personally. Your turn. Uh, boom, number nine, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Uh, it's the only Grand Theft Auto I have on my list, just because Vice City was a pure rip-off of Scarface, and as if that wasn't a great movie, and to play it was even better. You think Vice City is better than number three, and yeah. San Andreas? Yeah, that's it. And number four and number five? Ray, they didn't have Ray Liotta. There's no Ray Liotta in those games. Oh, uh, because what was Ray Liotta doing back then? Everything. Nothing. Being a mad dog. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My number nine, if you thought that was a bad selection, Roller Coaster Tycoon on PC. <laughs> Greatest PC game ever, I swear to God. You build your own theme park, build your own roller coasters, and, and you can charge people to go to the toilet. And guess what I did? Charge people 10 cents <laughs> to go to the toilet. Got a shitty park rating, but it was worth it. Some YouTube money right there. Oh, amazing game. <laughs> but no, I played that all day, every day when I was a kid, because I had nothing better to do. Um, number eight, probably my most recent game on the list, is Pokemon Y. Purely to see Pokemon come this far is beautiful. The game was great. Everything about it was great. And my top six Pokemon were all original Pokemon blue, red and yellow ones anyway. <laughs> so for me it was pretty much playing an old game just done a bit better. Was that the one that came out last month? Yeah. I've, I've been looking for that because I want to play it. I haven't found it. I can't find it. A Kmart, Target, Big W, JB Hi-Fi, Ebay Games, nowhere. So Nintendo sucker printing enough copies. <laughs> That's... My, are we up to number eight? Dem Japs. Yeah, number eight. My number eight, Assassin's Creed 2. Come okay. on. You play Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed 1 was pretty good, but nowhere near. Number two just took everything that was bad and perfected it and was one of the best open world games ever. Amazing. And it was still an Assassin's Creed game, unlike this bleed and splish splash show that you've got now with Brotherhood. Oh, not Brotherhood, sorry. With number three and number four, that's not. You don't even assassinate people anymore. Assassin's Creed 2, amazing. And Revelations was a complete ball sack. Yeah, I know. Revelations was pretty fucking terrible. Yeah, it was and number three. Time. Number three wasn't that good at all. Um, seven. Uncharted 2. At number seven? At number seven, yeah. Fuck. My list is long, right? Um, just because, purely, just. What they did with the game was everything better. You know, the gameplay was better, the story was better than the first one. Um, even though they had that, or they did in, that, um, in the Uncharted series, all that mythological, supernatural crap that you didn't expect, I, I found it to be quite good in the second one. End up in... Where did you end up? The number two? Yeah, in that city, with those oh, manual yeah. costumes, or whatever yeah. they were. Yeah. I just found it was a, better than the first one, and the third one. I said it. Yeah, I agree. Number two was better than the third. Which is why, I'm, obviously, because my big Uncharted man crush, mm. Nathan Drake man crush, much further down the list. <laughs> Or up the list, depending on which way. We're up to number seven, weren't we? Yeah. Number seven, the best Grand Theft Auto game. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Oh. One of the best open world games of all time. The best PlayStation 2 game of all time. Yeah. Much better than Vice City. This dickhead. And you're one of those dickheads. All the dickheads at school back in the day were like, it's better because there's motorbikes in it. So, number three was better than Vice City. Yeah, but why would you want your protagonist to be a black man? Why not? <laughs> now I'm getting that out now. <laughs> God damn you! You have to edit nothing. <laughs> um, Why not? We're good. Yeah. All right. Number six, Assassin's Creed Two, for all the same reasons Kieran said. Uh, improved on the first one, as many sequels do. Probably the best out of what all six. Number three was a mess. Yeah. Brotherhood was a mess. 
No, no, no Brotherhood just got... was good. Yeah. Revelations and number three were yeah. the worst. I, I'm yet to play number four, but can't get any better than the second one, and they probably never will. Exactly. They peaked. And Ezio. Yeah. And that was like the only Assassin's Creed where the modern day stuff was pretty interesting. Yeah. And it kind of just went off on a I don't know, it now it's like a first person, we made a video game, you have to be... Yeah. Oh, it's just fucked. Yeah, it makes they sense. They fucked that up. They did. Number six for me, Saints Row 2. I had to put a Saints Row game on there. Number two is the best of the Saints Rows. And I don't think it deserves a top five, but it deserves top ten. So Saints Row 2. Amazing game, amazing customization. It looks like shit, plays like shit for the most part, <laughs> but an amazing game nonetheless. Um, top five, drum roll. Yeah, drum roll. Dun, 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 dun. What do you think a drum <laughs> roll is? <laughs> Horn roll. Horns. Horns are better than drums. Um, number five, Oblivion. Probably the, the best Elder Scroll game. I only played Morrowind, Oblivion, and uh, Skyrim, but I had more play, fun playing Oblivion. Skyrim just, I don't know, over time I got bored with it. Oblivion was just better. I don't know. I agree. I think Oblivion was... I didn't have it. Skyrim or Oblivion, but I reckon Oblivion was better than Skyrim. Skyrim was too... Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, Oblivion I was, just, was much I had more fun playing Oblivion. Yeah, I agree. My number five from the same studio, Fallout New Vegas. Oh. People are going to hate me for this one. Fallout 3 is better. No, Fallout New Vegas is better than Fallout 3. I said it. That's, that's a big call. It's a problem. Gameplay's call. better. Yeah, much but better. The story's on. Oh, bullshit. The story and both are weak. I don't know why everyone gets so excited. Oh, number three. The story's good. Number three. Yeah, because he wanders off and you've got to go and find him at a water thing. You can beat the story in Fallout 3 in 30 seconds if you ate it, so that's all you get. <laughs> Fallout, this, yeah, it's something it's it. better. It's better than Fallout New Vegas, yeah. but it's not amazing. Oh, that's a that's a big one. And gameplay makes these games, which is why Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, the gameplay better. wasn't terrible, though. Gameplay was alright for that yeah. Are you kidding? The Just because you had to aim down the sights. Yeah, that, and you had to take that stupid metro system everywhere. The map really? was a mess. Fallout, New Ve- Fallout 3 was more of a serious apocalypse, whereas Fallout New Vegas was... A, mm-hmm. Well, it was an apocalypse, it was still, you know, quirky. But it, the system, the the faction system and the create-your-own-shit system, they, they, were, they weren't done very well. I mean, it's a good game, but we're not better than Fallout 3. Um, number four, I had... Arguably the best Rockstar game, Red Dead Redemption, in my opinion. The story was good, the gameplay was good. I mean, I only finished it, I think it was last year. Shut up. I only finished it, and then I got to the ending and it was just like, what, what's, what's, going, what's going on? And he, yeah, no spoilers. But if you haven't played it, you should. Because yeah, it is the best Rockstar game. It's better than Grand Theft Auto V. Again, meh. You haven't beat Grand Theft Auto V, have No, I haven't yeah. beat it, I don't want to beat it. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's not, it's not great. It wasn't the best. My number four, Bioshock 1, duh. Yeah. Amazing. One, arguably one of the best stories in video games. Uh, I wanted to put Infinite on there, but I only wanted, I didn't want to have more than one from each franchise. So I think Bioshock nudges Infinite out, but amazing game. Andrew Ryan, the best. Um, there were a few problems with it, but other than that, great. What problems? What problems? Um, you put me on the spot here. I thought <laughs> the gameplay was pretty weak in some parts, but again, it was early. It, it, yeah, I thought it was good when it first came out. on PlayStation 2 Bioshock, but That's... it was... Come on, it was early. Was it, it wasn't a launch title, was it? No, it wasn't a launch. 2007, it was, yeah, so... Yeah, it was super early. Yeah. But some gameplay problems. Uh, I just don't like games where you can't aim down the site. You can't aim down the site. Yeah, you can. can. You, you click the right stick, um, which no one ever did. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, because I changed the control. Yeah. It's still like that in Infinite. Fucking hell... Um, yeah. Irrational. Nobody ever wants to click into thumbsticks. It's not PlayStation. Didn't have Killzone too. Oh fucking uh-huh. the shit out of me. Because Killzone sucks. It was alright, but oh, if you're not doing FPS right, do a trigger to aim down or something. Yeah, exactly. Fucking <laughs> anyway. Um, number three on my list is Fallout Three. I, like I said before, better out of the two. Um, story was good. Mm-hmm. Wasn't. The greatest story. I think the gameplay that hit me in Fallout 3. Wandering the wastelands. Being a survivor. I think that's what I'm really into in mm-hmm. most video games. So I can, if State of Decay did it well, then it would have been in my top 10, but it didn't. No. Didn't do it very well at all. But um, I'm into those types of games, and I believe Fallout 3 did that really well. Um, Liam Neeson. Yeah. Enough said. And it's pretty good. Yeah, the gameplay wasn't as good as New Vegas, but I just found the game as a whole just to be better. 
I can see where you're coming from. And something else before people jump on the bandwagon. No, did you play the original Fallouts? No, I couldn't no, give a shit. No, we didn't, because they're bad. And just because you live I'm in not a, that old. Just because you live in a basement and play yeah. nothing but old PC games doesn't mean that Fallout Tactics and Fallout Brotherhood Evolved or whatever they're called were better, because they're not. Fallout 3 reimagined it, did it better, and I don't even have to play it to know that. Mm. Number three for me, Mass Effect 2. Don't have Mass Effect on my list. Oh. <laughs> How could you not have Mass Effect 2? Or Mass Effect 1? Or Mass Effect 3? Mass, they, could Mass all Effect easily, they could all easily be on, the to on anyone's top 10 of all time. Easily. That's a good game, two. the gameplay has to be good in the first no. one. Well, the first one was terrible. Yeah, okay, the gameplay in the first one was pretty terrible. <laughs> but the second gameplay in the second really one was really good. Mm. And the story and the choice that didn't matter in the yeah, end anyway. Didn't but we didn't know that when we were playing well, Mass Effect 2. So we, we did spend 60 hours playing a game for our choices not to matter. Ugh. Fucking... I like the ending. I must be the only person on planet Earth that liked the... Oh, I've lost my page. That liked the ending for Mass Effect. I didn't mind it. I don't... Man. Yeah. I didn't... I can see where people were coming from and they... Oh, what choice doesn't matter, but... Yeah. You know, stop being a bitch. Really. <laughs> you going? Oh, me? Dickhead. Number two? I had the original Bioshock. Just as Kim said before, the... The gameplay wasn't as good as the second one, but at its time, I thought it was really good. The story was... You finish that game and you're just like... What the fuck? Yeah. It was probably the greatest... The greatest story in the game ever. I said it. Game That's a big call. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I said it. Um, and then we'll go to Infinite. Uh, the gameplay in Infinite wasn't as good as the second one, I think. I mean, the weapons, even though you could customise them, didn't really matter. Yeah. Because you change the weapons every two seconds. I think the... What do they call it? The Plasmids? Yeah, the Plasmids are way better than the, than the Vigors. Yeah. So, but... If the first one had the same gameplay as the second one, mm. then it would be the perfect game, but unfortunately did it. But, still made number two on my list. Number two on my list, Uncharted 2. I don't know how you put it at eight, whatever the hell you put it as. Uh, seventh. seventh. Because Uncharted 2 is way better than all the crap that you've just said. Uh, Uncharted 2, amazing game. If you haven't played it, play it. Um, the gameplay is kind of shitty. <laughs> but, but, but that just tells you how good the story and the characters are. These are the best characters in video games. Very lovable. There's no one better. Mm. Uh, don't want to spoil any of it because you have to go and play it. You get the triple pack or whatever you get, but go and buy it if you haven't. These, this is the reason to buy a PlayStation 3 now. Cheap. I think that's the only reason... I had my PlayStation 3. Yeah, only reason I had a PlayStation 3. That and Infamous. Infamous, Infamous yeah. Good, which didn't make the list, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Kira didn't think it was good enough. It was not good enough. Oh. And you thought the first Infamous was better than the second? The better. second Infamous is the way first better. One, the, no. the voicing in the first one. No. No, but you can play the second one. Oh, you can be good or evil, but you still save the city. Oh, I'm going to be badass and save the city. Yeah, you're a bitch. Well, maybe you want to save the city so you can be dickheads to the people in the city. No, but the first one you choice mattered more. Uh, you know how I know the second yes, one is yeah. better than the first one? What? Didn't play the first one. <laughs> the first one <laughs> <laughs> I've got it free on that PlayStation. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. I played like 10 up. minutes of it, and this was after I played the second one, so it's like reverse yeah. engineering. I'm like, no thanks. Okay, you can go with your number one. Number one. Dun, 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 dun. Uh... Shut up, I'd Pokemon Yellow, my number one game. <laughs> of all time. Of all time, yep. I got the game when I was five on my fifth birthday. Mm. And I remember on my fifth birthday, I had a birthday party at Hungry Jacks. You know what I spent on? <laughs> an hour and a half. I was on top of the playground playing Pokemon Yellow because I could not give two fucks about anyone at that party. And then, I think every year for 10 to 12 years, I would restart the game and play it over and over. Until my dog pissed on it. <laughs> I found it one day in a puddle of piss under my bed, and that was that was heartbreaking because I was yeah. Okay, my you favorite game on eBay. It's not the same. I got one. I had the same game for. Did you kill the dog? <laughs> I kicked it. I'd kill it if it did yeah. that to me. So yeah, Pokemon Yellow. Wasn't Pokemon Yellow the Japanese one? No, that was green. Okay, I had Pokemon Blue. Pokemon Yellow is the first um, first um, how would you describe it? First third. Pokemon game to come out of that generation. You know how they do like Pokemon Root, Emerald, yeah. and the, they'll do Z or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then is the only game actually was it the only Pokemon game where you could have a Pikachu follow you? So I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. That made me love it. I had Pokemon Blue because Blastoise was a yeah. bad motherfucker, and, and I was like four or five, so I didn't have a choice in what Pokemon I got. Exactly, and then Pokemon Yellow could have all three and Pikachu. 
So yeah, it was my favourite game of all time. And my favourite game of all time... For all the shit I give Nintendo... The Nintendo 64, one of the best consoles of all time, had the best That's game of all time in Mario 64. No questions asked, no quarter given. Mario 64, greatest game of all time. And for those PC elitists who are going to argue that Baldur's Gate or Morrowind, your president and leader, Gabe Newell, said that that was the game that convinced him that video games are an art form. So thank you, Mario 64. Mario 64, greatest game ever. You don't even have to talk about how good it is, because I haven't played it in 20 years, so I don't remember. Um, it's been an amazing game. Yeah. That was the very first, like, proper video game I ever played, because I got it for my for Christmas when I was, like, five or six. Amazing. Yeah, I think that's that's why I played video games, was Pokemon Yellow, so that's why it's my number yeah. one. and that's why I played video games, yeah. it's Mario. Mario. So I didn't get to play it. It was, because I got it for Christmas. This was, it, I'm an only child, so I used to get everything. And I was, well, still get everything, kind of. And I was five or six, and for Christmas I got this electric guitar thing. Yeah. I just like a kid's one, but it was like an electric guitar. There's Christmas stories right here. <laughs> a Lego kit that was like the pyramids, and you had to build the pyramids in this crypt and tomb thing. And Mario 64. Well, everyone played the Nintendo 64, so I didn't get a chance to play it. Like my uncle and all, they were all playing it. Don't think I was then they sure. built my fucking Lego pyramid. I never got to build that. And then I was, while they were building my pyramid, pyramid and playing with my Nintendo 64, I thought, I'm going to play my electric guitar thing. And everyone got the shits at that noise and I wasn't allowed to play that. Worst, best Christmas ever. Unbelievable. You sound like a sport brat. Well, fuck, I didn't get to build my Lego. I, I, did, I never had Christmas. Never had Christmas. Yeah, because Tanner comes from Turkey. I'm not a muzzy, though. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that was our top that's ten. Our, that's our top ten. If you want to see more videos with Tanner and I, or just Tanner, he can take over the channel. I can strip. Call it Tanner <laughs> Muhammad Films. <laughs> Muhammad Films. Jihad on you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. What are your top ten? And be on the lookout because I'm going to create another Google document page where you guys can go and fill in your top ten top games, top games of 2013. And you can go and vote, and I'll read out what you guys gave Game of the Year. So don't give it Call of Duty again this year. Did I tell you what happened? No, what happened? Last year, I thought, let's give the viewers a chance. So I created a Google poll, and yeah. they could go and vote for their games. I remember that, yeah. You know what I the worst that. game was? The worst game was Call of Duty, the most disappointing game was Call of Duty, and the <laughs> best game was Call of Duty. What? So I'm not putting Call of Duty in the equation. No, I can't, you kind of have to, though. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. So that's it. What are your top ten games? Until next time, we're out. Rate, comment, and subscribe. How do you say bye in Turkish? Uh, fuck if I know. Fuck if I know. Fuck if I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How long did that go for?